Hi, my name is Lisa Gonzalez, and I'm a facilitator for the Leading Edge Certification PLL, Professional Learning Leader. And the activity I'm going to work with you on today is Module 7 and delving into the portfolio assignment for Module 7. So you'll see on your screen, Portfolio Assignment, I'm going to click on this because this is an assignment that I struggled with. In this activity, you're going to be asked to think about creating flexible learning spaces. And you have some flexibility. And it wasn't quite clear to me when I embarked on this assignment. So I looked at my school site, uh, and I looked at my district, and I tried to find an authentic way to take a learning space and do something with it. Uh, I finally decided that it made the most sense to take a look at a STEM classroom that was fairly new and take a look at different ways we could change that space. So in this assignment, what you're asked to do is think of a space and imagine what you might be able to do with it. What is the current location preventing you from doing and if you had some flexibility and quite honestly if you had some, fi some funds, what might you be able to do? So the, the assignment itself gives you some options. Uh, if you scroll down just a little bit on it, you can look at, you know, you can look at the colors on the walls, you can look at the lighting, you can look at the furniture, uh, you can look at the temperature that you have in the room and whether you want it to be a hot space or a cool space and maybe how color might fit into that. The technology that you need, um, how you can turn it into a workspace not only for adults or for students or for both. So what this really asks you to do is go into some of the resources and start to research what you might be able to do. What helped me most in this assignment was over in the additional resources. And I found the additional resources in the Weebly, right here, Professional Learning Environments, Reflection and Additional Resources. And the one that I think might be most valuable for you, because it has the most information, is this one right here. And it's called Learning Environment Design. And if you click on this one, what you're going to find is a whole host of more resources than you could ever imagine. Really a compilation of articles here. I took a look at the eight tips to redesign your classroom. This was a great example here. The best schools I've seen yet. And what I liked about this one, a lot of great pictures. This one over here was very good also, and this is from Ed Week, and how you can engage students based on the type of environment. So this, for me, was a great go-to location. Back to school, imagine classroom design. So let's go back to our original assignment again. And our original assignment in the textbook was identify an instructional practice you want to take a look at, identify the problem with your learning space, look at the parameters, what might you want to change, and design a solution. So let me real quickly share with you my project. This is how classrooms used to be. This is the learning space that I wanted to work on in one of my school sites here in my district. I talked about the type of instruction, the challenges. I like the no color and inaccessible technology. I shared um, some photos that I used, uh, picked those up from com uh, Creative Commons, looking for motivation, a couple of ideas and other ideas, and then I started pulling in pictures of places that I had visited in classrooms that I thought were impressive. And this was my presentation, 10 slides. Nice and simple. Hope that you found this valuable. Have a great day!